What's up, friends? It's a Wednesday hunt video. Big dub. It's Monday morning for me. And as I am on my way to kickboxing, don't forget to use the hashtag BDubFit for all the videos in April. Leave one positive thing you did for yourself today. Like today, I could say hashtag BDubFit. I got up and went to Monday morning kickboxing to start my week off right. That's what I'm doing. Uh, but I'm starting this video here a little bit. I uh, had because this this Wednesday video will be just a little bit different. It'll kind of be like a tiny episode of Dub Life. Going to kickboxing, then we'll go on a hunt, and there may be some things I'll open when I get home because I've got some stuff I want to open up, and I don't want to wait until I get home from uh, Nashville. So I'm going to go ahead and open them up. So we may do that in the video here, I think. Uh, but first we're going to go kickboxing. We'll probably hit... I don't know where we're gonna go. Probably a Walmart and Target. I mean, that's usually where we go on these hunt videos. I don't have anything I'm really looking for, um, but you know, we'll see. I know a lot of people are finding new things, but I've already found the Thor wave. I uh, got the figures that we needed from that. I found King Grayskull. I found the Batista in the most recent episode, right? I think I showed that Friday. No, that's, uh, you haven't seen that yet. It's coming up on Dub Life that you'll watch on Sunday. Um, so I found a lot of stuff recently, but uh, we're gonna start off Monday morning kickboxing. Then we'll go on a little hunt. Then we'll go back to the house. And as you're watching this, it's Wednesday. Uh, we leave tomorrow for ICCC in Nashville. Uh, as you're watching this, uh, what's poppin' OG Geek, Mike and Seth are on their way to me in Atlanta. And then we will caravan up to Nashville with Kaya, Natalie, and David. Uh, meeting Josh and Kareen up there, Foxy for real, and uh, Brooklyn, I think, are going to be there. Lots of folks. Uh, Nat Ren, Andrew Bogues, lot, lots of people. Um, Nat, I'm excited to meet, very excited. Uh, lots of you guys. Uh, we've given away tickets to that. This will be kind of the first meetup, so to speak, for some of us that are doing the beat up fit. And I'm looking forward to that. We are going to do a live um, stream panel thing. Saturday night at ICCC in the podcast room. It's going to be at 7.30 local time, central time, 8.30 Eastern. If you're watching this and you can't come, it's going to be on Josh's channel, on Josh Pence's channel, uh, 8.30 Eastern time, 7.30 Central. It'll be 90 minute uh, live stream with all of us hanging out, having a good time. Uh, hopefully you will join us for that. Uh, as you're watching this, Josh may already have the link uh, the stream scheduled. I don't know, but you'll be able to find it pretty quickly. Josh, if you haven't, let's get that scheduled so everybody can find us. Um, but if you're coming to the show, if you're coming to the show, uh, we'll have a live audience there. So you can come sit, hang out with us, probably figure out some challenges, some silliness to do. And I plan to give stuff away for the B-Dub Fit crowd at the show in person. That'll be a giveaway that you have to be in person to attend. But for those that are meeting up, uh, I want to give away something there. Um, you'll find out more about that in the next episode on Friday's hunt video. So if you're watching this and you're coming to ICCC, make sure you watch my Friday hunt episode before you get to Saturday night. Because I'm going to give you the details of how you can win something at the giveaway. You'll have to do something you know, like physically, like have, have a way to prove that you've watched that video. Uh, and then we'll have a little challenge or competition or something uh, and give something away. Uh, I have to figure out what I want to give away. It'll be something a little bit different or unique. Um, but I think I have in mind what I want to do for that. I want to talk to Seth and Mike. Also, probably on Friday's hunt video, OG Geek and What's Poppin' will be with me when they get up here Wednesday. I will try to get a quick hunt video done with them with me and get it ready for Friday before we head out of town. That's the goal. Uh, and as you're watching this, you've got Dub Life, which will be with the girls and I. Uh, we see some movies, we hang out, we go to the fair, we see David, that's coming up Sunday, and then the next Sunday will be the ICCC video. So lots of fun stuff upcoming. I gotta get my butt in there for kickboxing and uh, work on my glutes and hands, but we'll pick it back up on our way to a hunt next clip. Workout complete. Uh, it was another good kickboxing workout. I think I, I burned almost 700 calories. My challenge is, I've, I've just gotta get back to running. I know I keep saying that, but now the weather's better and uh, I just gotta start doing more stuff. Um, when I moved to just kickboxing about six months ago, like it's perfectly fine for maintaining, but it doesn't help me gain. It just doesn't get me where I need to get. Um, and the best shape of my life that I've been in since I was, you know, like actively playing football and stuff, 
would have been like around like August 2020, somewhere around there, you know, 18 months ago or so. And I was running a lot. And then in November 2020, I ran over 150 miles that month. Uh, but then ever since then, I've just pulled it way back on the running because my body was just ached and ached. So I got to find a middle ground um, with a little bit of kickboxing and a little bit of running and a little bit of strength training, you know, variety. Uh, and then last year when I was just going heavy, two a days and stuff like that, I just wore my body down so much and kept getting hurt. So, you know, in your 40s, it's not as easy. And my, my mind still thinks I'm, you know, 18 playing ball and stuff. So... I gotta, I gotta wear it down. Anyway, I'm gonna go to Target. Uh, it's a Target I was at like four or five days ago, um, but they were in the middle of a large restock then. I had success that day, but they, they had a large restock, so I wanna go check out and see if they finished the restock and what's going on. Um, plus, it's the easiest one to get to, and I don't have a super ton of time. So we may just go to that Target and then uh, open up some stuff when we get home. I do have a box coming, I hope, in the mail today with some new Myth of Legions customs and some stuff I'm gonna bring to Kent at ICCC. Um, and then I've got some, uh, I got the King Gray Skull that David found for me. I wanna open that up and I got some other Mythic Legions to open up. I think that's it. Um, and I've got a massive pile of loot that I need to ship within the next week. Uh, so we'll see that in a future video, but let's go to Target, see what they got on the hunt. All right, with this target here, you seem to go to quite a bit. Probably the target I have the most success at, especially with Pokemon. I am not gonna get a cart or a basket because I don't want to be optimistic because I don't want to spend any money. So uh, maybe just one or two items at most. Let's see what I got. Start at the card section. That had the, yeah, still got most of those. I had a large Pokemon restock last time I was here. But no wrestling cards. I never see wrestling cards. Let's see, Pikachu V, more Pekka. We have Bolton is new, and we picked that up. But no, uh, no loose packs. But we have all these boxes. So none of that do we need to pick up. This Target had some new things on clearance last time I was here too, some wrestlers. Uh, but they weren't down at like the $6 price like the Legends have been. They were still like 12 bucks, something like that. So later, we'll pick those up if they drop. Pretty quiet this morning in this Target, which is good because sometimes it's very busy and I don't love filming when it's busy and there's kids running around. It's kind of awkward, but also, I, you know, I want to stay out of their way. Let them enjoy. Pac-Man. We got Natalie, the Miss Pac-Man counter cave. We found it on sale or on clearance at Walmart. They do have the, the Simpsons clearance. You'll see that in Dub Life this week. 199 we didn't pick that up, but we did get her the Miss Pac-Man. Let's see. This NECA section. It's this Frankenstein's monster. And cards. No Pokemon packs. What's back there? Mondo Gecko. Frankenstein monster again. Is this the same? That's the black. Is that black and white versus yeah, color? I don't want to break you. I'm sorry. Rat King of Vernon. Frogs. Wingnut and Screwloose. Metalhead. What's this? Friday the 13th. New Blood. Have I seen this? Oh, that's actually kind of neat. It's not for me. It looks like he's burned up. That's pretty cool. I mean, I, I wish I was into horror. Because Mecha keeps it coming with the neck of horror but it's just not my deal i don't like to watch it i don't collect it you know but they look good what's this oh ultimate marty well some decent stuff overalls oh bro puzzles all right let's find the figures what's this mega blocks i think there's some new mega motu stuff a needler that's kind of neat. Roger Dodger. Are those mega? Yeah. The Bone Shaker. Pokemon. Oh, look at all those Pokemon balls. We got that for Kai one time. The Evolution. She likes all the Evolutions. Let's see what else there is. Lego. A bunch of Technic. Bookshop. Friends apartment. We have both of those. The camper's cool. I want to get that blacksmith. I want to get Sesame Street. That's probably gonna retire soon is my guess. We have most of that. 
Let's see what's up here. Stratos, Bozov, Skelligon, Bumblebee. I don't think there's anything else on this that we're interested in. Lego stuff. All right. So we picked up this. You'll see this uh, in Sunday's video. This will be available in the May giveaway. Battle Cat. See these? So they're $10.99. It's not cheap enough for me yet to grab a bunch. Drew McIntyre, Bianca Belair, Owens, Defender Strange. Let's see what's down here. There's a lot of new Jurassic stuff that's been stocked recently with Dominion. Jurassic World Dominion about to come out here in a few weeks. We gotta watch. We got we've only watched the first Jurassic Park movie, Kai. I shouldn't seen any. So we gotta get caught up on those. Who's making these Pixar? Oh Mattel. Hmm. Does Mattel make yeah, Mattel's making the Buzz Light here. Oh, that's right, because Mattel got like the princesses and Disney license. That's right. That looks pretty good, actually. Mirrorverse. Uh, there's King Grayskull. A bunch of them. Looks like he's going to peg warm. It's Target exclusive. It's a really nice figure. Uh, you'll see me pick one of these up, and David gave me one. I'm going to open that up later in this episode. He's got the two swords, shield. The head sculpts are nice. It's got a, a bendy wire cloth goods cape. I like the figure. He-Man, Skelegod, Andra. Uh, let's see. Wrecker, IG-11, Carbonized Scout Trooper. Oh, I'm sorry, IG-11. Emperor. Could take that and get it signed at ICCC. Probably pay quite a bit of money bunch of Landos. Oh, this is new. Yeah, I haven't seen this. Ultimate Alexa Bliss. Uh, I mean, I don't think those... I mean, they're kind of creepy face sculpts, all right? I don't, I don't know. It might be cool to put her in that. The female head sculpts always struggle. I'm basically every action figure. Hot toy, anything. But that's new. I haven't seen that. I have a bunch of them, four of them. It had the Batista... I grabbed that uh, in an upcoming episode. Oh, it looks like they would have The Fiend, too. But he's not here yet. Undertaker versus Bret Hart, Champion Showdown. Oh, Mean Mark Callis. I think that's the first time I've seen that, maybe. Undertaker in, like, the WCW days. If I was still collecting wrestling, that's the line I'd be collecting. <laughs> Let's see. Edge. That road dog's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. Let's put that there so I can take a little picture. China. Reg. Road Dog. What's up here? Take Conti. Ortiz, Ortiz. Oh, don't fall. Well, maybe the first time I've actually seen that MJF in person. I think. I don't know. Yeah, pretty good wrestling selection. Pretty good. On this side, there's Piggy. From Mr. Seth. Hopefully we get to go on a hunt with Seth here couple days Bulbasaur pop what's back here I don't know what the oh, remote control Batman on the bat cycle okay tech deck you can use these for your turtles super 7 NECA Bakugan I don't know anything about this stuff legends is very low of course, the next thing they would have would be a Thor wave, which Walmart's got them early, so if they have them, they're going to be showing up probably another week when that street date hits, I would guess. Superman vs. Armor Batman. Doodoo Man Clayface. I like that figure a lot. Joker. Superman. Let's look at this. G.I. Joe. Storm Shadow Cobra Commander. Gung-Ho the Rangers. These are all in space rangers, Zio in space. I'll try to give you a good look at everything that we have here since we're just gonna do one store today. Pixar, Eternals. Sometimes these work as a fill-in. Like there was a Shuri in a line like this when I collected Legends years ago that worked. Snake Eyes, Lady J. Bruce Wayne, Batman Earth 2. They definitely have restocked. Some of the stuff wasn't here when I was just here, like Silver Streak. I don't think I'd seen him. The 
stuff up. Is any of that perceptor? No. I don't know what size the perceptor is. I need to learn that. What's that back there? Coronation Star Scream. Velociraptor, Velociraptor. Let's see, is there any other outer display here? One Jurassic World. Let's go to the NECA Funko section. Okie dokie. NECA stuff over here. Rat King. Frankenstein's monster, aliens, King Kong, Rat King. There's a gunslinger spawn hidden back there. Gremlins, another Rat King. Doesn't look like that re-release was one that was necessary. What's this? Hmm. Could work for random bad guys. You could have your My Hero Academia people fighting, right? I saw this Sunday. I think this is cool. I don't know how many of these they're going to make. Like the comic book backdrop, but I mean... You know, it's kind of neat. I don't know, Monica Rambeau is the one to launch with necessarily. Might could have just had Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man. But, mm, you know. All right, series pops. Nobody's buying. Fennec Shad. Uh, Super 7 Turtles. Do any of you guys still collect pops? We really don't. We get them to get signed. But that's really it. Well, that's not true. Natalie gets them for certain properties she likes. What is this sticker? Pops with purpose. Oh, it's make a wish. So does it donate money? Funko has donated $150,000 to make a wish. Okay. I wonder if somebody wanted that pop. No, they all look this. They all look like blue. BB-8, Cheshire Cat. You know about that? Let me know. Target Con. Treat yourself. Zygor. She spawned. We have picked this up. We're going to give away some spawn stuff somewhere. And something. Is that killing joke, Batman? Oh, that's like Jack Nicholson. Joker. Oh, Riddler in the swim shorts. Is that new? I feel like that's new. I don't think I've seen that. Batman swim shorts. Riddler. I mean, he's making a lot of those. Catwoman, Penguin. Is that finger gun, Red Hood? Yes. Princess Bride Buttercup. Gunslinger spawn. Redeemer. Raven spawn. Touch it, touch it, feel it. All right, I don't see. I need to get a super. I want to make a super Bulma. They made a super Bulma because we're going to meet Bulma in a few months. And I think I'm going to get something signed. I think Victoria, if we can find a super one, she'll get something signed. Muriel, we have the chase. Thanks to Sean. We'll open that up later in this episode. Here's these Naruto figures people are enjoying. Ten bucks. There's the Naruto figure arts. Nobody's buying that thing except me. Iron Man Hulk shirts. Rubius Hagrid with the leaky cauldron. If it wasn't so big, Victoria might like that, but I don't think that big. She'll want it. Uh, let's go check out the clearance. Welcome to the clearance. Is that new? Jurassic World Dominion Gigantosaurus and Therizinosaurus attack. I think that's new. Pokemon Master's Journey. Huh. They have this kind of this toy section that was like where all the Christmas presents were, but I don't know. I think it's to track the little ones over to look at stuff. But the clearance is hidden over here. And so, like those Roman Reigns and Triple H's, they're still ringing up at like it's whatever the price is marked on them. Sorry, fifteen thirty nine. Yeah, if they were ringing up at like six bucks, I'd be grabbing them. I don't think any of this is new. I think this is all stuff that was already there. So let's get out of here. Bird's nest up there on top of Target. They're loud. Just didn't pick anything up. Nothing really to pick up. Maybe the Alexa Bliss, but that's new. So they, I mean, what day is it? Monday morning. I think it was Friday I was there when they were actively restocking. So that Alexa Bliss wasn't there, but the Batista was. So some things change even in that short period of time. But they had a lot of boxes out. So I'm sure there's other things. Like, I don't think any of that new Jurassic World stuff was there. They are pretty actively uh, restocking. Anyway, that's why sometimes you just got to keep going. Is this my vehicle? That is not my vehicle. I'm just walking to a car that looks like mine, but ain't mine. Um, that's why if you're really hunting for something, it pays to go. 
you know, and I mean, I'm going to all these stores multiple times a week or at least once a week now for these videos. But, you know, if you're really on the hunt and you don't want to pay eBay prices, that's the way you got to do it. But with the price that gas is, you know, depending on the eBay or Mercari or whatever markup, might be better just buy it that way and get it to your house. Uh, all right. So I'm going to go home. I got to work. And uh, around lunch break time, I will check in with you. Hopefully the mail will come. Uh, and then we'll show you and open up a few things. Um, I've got Blue Demon to open. I got some wings for him. Um, trying to remember what else. A few other things. But uh, and then we'll wrap up the video and uh, continue on our journey to ICCC. Rub it out. All right, it's later. These are some of the mythics. These came in from AliExpress. We'll open this guy up. We're gonna open the bull guy up, Torian. I've got the wings for uh, for him. I'm gonna try him on the blue demon. Uh, King Grayskull, David got me. Thank you, David. And then this came in from my man, Sean Parker. I'll talk about that on Dub Life, but it's the Platinum Edition, the Chase. He sent this for Kaya, so thank you. Uh, I also have this guy, which I wanted to look at a head on him, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep him or not. We'll talk about that in a minute. Then this came in from Nikki Nicole Customs. I made another order with her. You can see it's got some cool stuff, so let me get all that out. So here's what I picked up from Nikki. These guys are actually for Kent. I picked them up for him. They are, I think it's the same, the Baron Vuligar body with a repainted, uh, like a Hordak vampire head. So they're like vampire warriors. One of them's got a sword and a shield. One of them's got this awesome painted, like black. Uh, kind of horse sword. I think this is the sword that comes with purple or maybe and I picked up this black demon Which looks like it's his body What's this guy's name? Torion, right? I think it's his body With some modifications. See, I think the lower part at least is his body And then it's His head Repainted and look, I know it's hard to see Look at those eyes and then it's got the bone wings with it and then like a color matched almost uh, sword. And then she also threw in this set of gold weapons. So thanks to Nikki for that. I know Rufus, I know. Good boy. Uh, so what I want to do, I'm thinking about seeing if one of my heads will fit on that body. I'm just going to try it on this so I don't even have to open that yet. Let me do that. So there's that body, custom head taken off. So I do have this red demon head. I actually have a red orc coming for this head. I know, Rufus, as soon as I start filming. But this is the head, this is from Nikki, which is like a, like a, you know, like a knight's head, which I'm sure will fit. Just want to see how it looks. And then that is from Eric Miller Customs, that demon, I believe is who I got that from. Oh, see, so that does look good. It fits right on there nicely. Um, I think what I want to do is put that on like a Templar or a Dark Templar and not on this body. That's what I think. But that looks good, that looks good. That looks good. I do like the way it looks on that, but um, I already have the Baron uh, in his regular form. And I know Kent's looking for an extra one of these. I got that one from AliExpress. So I think I'm gonna bring it with me to Nashville and let Kent have it if he wants it. And uh, cause I think a Templar would be a better body for that head. Uh, cause they're gonna be very similar, but I think I'm gonna bring that Baron to Kent. So let me assemble all of these and show you and then open up those other things and we'll wrap this thing up. There he is with his bone wings and his sword. We'll save the gold weapons for, I don't know, someone else. And there's the vamps. One of them gets a sword and shield. One of them gets the big sword. So thanks to Nikki. And uh, these will be going to Kent along with that other Baron. So let's run over the things I'm keeping. There's that wing demon with the bone wings. Here's this guy. The blue doesn't exactly match, but I still think it looks cool. I'll leave it on him for now. I'd like to get a, that color blue. There's Torian. There's the Chase Mario. I like it. And then King Gray Skull is great. The two parts of the power sword. The thing, this cape is awesome, but look at this tag, like a clothing shirt tag. It's huge. It's just ridiculous what has to go on toys, but I think he looks really good. But all right, that wraps up this uh, Wednesday hunt episode. A decent sized hunt. Opened up some figures. We're on the road to ICC. As you're watching this, uh, watch Friday's episode, hunt episode, so you can figure out how you're going to enter a giveaway if you're going to be in person in Nashville. Because I like to give something cool away. I'll tell you more about that on Friday. Till then, squeeze it. Oh.